The governor of the Bank of England, Mervyn King, warned growth in the British economy would be broadly flat during the next year as the UK tried to adjust to rising energy and commodity prices. But he was confident that rising inflation rates, currently at 4.4%, were not sustainable and were set to fall sharply next year, dipping below the official 2% target in two years' time. Further ahead, as food and domestic energy prices stabilise, the growth rate of real take-home pay should recover. And that, together with some easing in credit supply conditions and a pickup in exports following the fall in sterling's effective exchange rate, should support a recovery in output. Nevertheless, the possibility of a more prolonged adjustment in the financial sector means that, in the committee's judgment, the balance of risks around this central projection is on the downside. He went on to announce the current projections on inflation. In the central projection, higher prices for domestic energy, food and imports push inflation further above the target this year. These price increases will continue to enter the measure of CPI inflation for 12 months, so inflation is likely to remain markedly above the target until well into next year. But the impact of these increases in commodity prices will diminish during 2009. They cannot by themselves generate sustained inflation unless other prices begin to rise at a faster rate. And it's the task of the MPC to ensure that they don't. Speaking on house prices, the governor said tougher lending criteria and spiralling oil and commodity prices, squeezing real take-home pay, had taken their toll on the market. But he was confident that when inflation was brought back down to target, growth would resume at a new level. The market will determine it, not the government, not us. The market will decide where that level of house prices is. Once we've reached that new level, then I think you'll see conditions in the housing market, particularly in terms of transactions, normalize. But that does not mean going back to the state of the housing market we were in in the first half of last year. That was clearly excessive. You asked whether there's any evidence. The committee is confident inflation will start to return to normal and that the worst may already even be over. I wanted to ask on page four. For the current period of above target inflation, although very marked, will be temporary and inflation will return to the 2% target. To deliver that, the MPC must judge the appropriate stance of monetary policy. The near-term outlook for inflation has deteriorated since May, reflecting the news about food and energy prices. The committee judges that a more pronounced slowdown in activity is likely to be necessary to contain wage and price pressures and ensure inflation expectations are anchored in the medium term. And despite hard times forecast for the short term, the future is looking more positive. The adjustment of the UK economy to higher commodity prices and a more realistic pricing of credit will be painful. The next year will be a difficult one, with inflation high and output broadly flat. But with monetary policy focused on its task of bringing inflation back to the target, we will come through the adjustment. And we will return, if not to the nice decade, then at least to one that is, as central bankers say, not so bad.